What up Reef and Peeps, it's Cywar. In this unboxing and installation video, I get some new T5 bulbs and brand new LED fixtures. So, the other day I was surfing Facebook and came across a post from SB Reef Lights. They were advertising their basic 16-inch lights for $119. That's down from $134. So, I immediately jumped on the deal. Initially, I had a little problem with the promo code, but I emailed SB Reef Lights, and within an hour or two, the problem was resolved. The customer service response time was awesomely fast. After I pulled the trigger on new LEDs, I figured, why not grab some new T5 bulbs while I'm at it? I went on over to Bulk Resupply and grabbed some ATI 48 inch Blue Plus T5 bulbs. I chose the Blue Plus bulbs because I wanted to get some more pop out of the colors on my soon to be corals. As for what made me choose the SB Reef Lights LEDs over other black box LEDs? Well, in order to understand the answer, I'm going to give you a really simplified explanation of lighting wavelengths and how corals absorb it. Let's start with the light we're able to see. For this first chart, what's important to know is that we're able to perceive light in wavelengths between 400 and 700 nanometers. Anything less than 400 nanometers is ultraviolet light, and anything over 700 nanometers is infrared. This next chart shows light penetration of the oceans. Again, we have the wavelength in nanometers horizontally, and the vertical numbers represent the depth in meters that each color wavelength will penetrate to. As you can see, the blue wavelength is better able to penetrate the deepest, up to 250 meters. Red light, which has wavelengths longer than 600 nanometers, are only able to penetrate very shallow waters. So how do corals absorb this light? The answer is, they don't. Corals have a symbiotic relationship with a planktonic algae called zoanthelae. Basically, the zoanthelae converts light into energy, which feeds the coral. Based off of light penetration over millions of years, evolution of the corals has developed the ability to utilize the blue light spectrum. Whereas terrestrial plants like mangroves and macroalgaes like calerpa and chetomorph that are found near the surface of the water have evolved to use the red spectrum. This is why you see reef tanks using blue tinted lights and refugiums using white and red tinted lights. Again, zoanthelae is used to buy corals for energy. Here, you can see the wavelengths and absorption. Based on the graph, we can see that violet and blue colors are the most important for zoanthelae photosynthesis, with a small peak of red around 675 nanometers. So why did I just go over all of this? Here is the SB Reef Light output chart next to the coral absorption chart. And here they are overlaid. Here's the ATI Blue Plus bulb output chart next to the absorption chart. And again, here they are overlaid. This is why I decided to go with the SB Reef Lights and the Blue Plus bulbs. Now, let's get these suckers opened and installed. First, the SB Reef Lights. They were packed really well. The lights came with hanging hardware that I won't be using, but I'll hold on to it. Next, it's time to pull the old LED lights. I built my canopy to tilt up in order to make it easier to access the bulbs. After that, it's time to pull the old T5 bulbs. When the T5 bulbs were shipped, they were suspended inside a rigid cardboard tube with circular foam. There's almost no way I could see these bulbs breaking in transit. The new T5 bulbs clicked right in. After I turned them on, I could tell immediately they were much more blue than the old Coral Plus bulbs I had. After the T5s were installed, I lowered the canopy and installed the SB Reef Lights. Then I routed the power cables and secured them up with zip ties. After that, I turned them on. I use these outdoor simple timers in order to schedule my lights. They work great and are relatively cheap. The on-off times are scheduled one hour apart for both the on and the off times. My blues come on, one hour later after that, my whites, then one hour after that, the T5s. So far, I'm really happy with both my choices. Only time will tell as far as coral growth and coloration. Well, that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And don't forget, if you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe. Until next video, 
Stay salty.